I'm Christopher Zweig, and today on CJ at the Movies, I dish on some new movies starring Jennifer Garner and Tom Holland, and a romantic comedy about a girl from the future. Sounds like happy accidents, doesn't it? Let's take a look. Our first movie is Long Weekend, and it plays like an Oreo cookie with a comedy sandwich between the drama, and it works because of the likable and sweet leads from Finn Wittrock as a miserable LA writer, and Zoe Zhao as a woman who claims to be from the future. Are you real? You don't know everything about me. Sometimes it's weird and weak, but mostly it has strong emotions and hard-earned laughs. Wittrock and Zhao both play familiar characters with complex situations, and you're able to see the spark in them both. Even if the girl may or may not be a figment of the boy's imagination, you still admire their characters for their tears, passion, and levity. It made me check out another indie of its kind from 20 years ago called Happy Accidents. Both these movies are good, so check them out! Our next movie is Cherry, and it's the latest collaboration of Tom Holland and his Avengers directors Anthony and Joe Russo. It's based on the life of a druggie and soldier who went on to become an author. In this movie, we see Holland as a young man who decides to become an army medic and then suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder up to the point of him resorting to drugs and robbing banks to pay off a debt. I'm 23 years old and sometimes I wonder if life was wasted on me. Cherry goes on too long with its war training and combat sequences, but it's Tom Holland who saves the show because he excels in this particular role as a soldier who resorts to drugs and violence. His emotions and connection with Sierra Bravo as his wife are strong enough to keep the movie on the right path, and the Russo brothers beautifully capture the drugs, violence, and PTSD sequences in some of the most ambitious ways. So check it out! And finally, our last movie is Yes Day, and it's a family comedy on Netflix that stars Jennifer Garner and Edgar Ramirez as parents whose kids have gotten tired of hearing the word no all the time. So they decide to have a yes day, which means the kids make the rules, and the parents have to say yes to everything for 24 hours. It's Yes Day! Who's ready for Yes Day? Ah! Ellie wants to do your hair and makeup. I have a vision. Yes. I'm glad you're using your, your watercolors. For the kids and parents, I'd give them a yes because of its innocent and engaging activities, but for anyone outside the targeted audience, I'd give it a no because it relies on the most typical cliches in a kid's movie, when parents have to fight other people over a stuffed gorilla prize and landing on their crotches on a tree. It's basically like Yes Man, but it seems too obligatory and routine, so skip it. Now let's recap the movies I reviewed today. Thumbs up for Long Weekend, thumbs up for Cherry, and thumbs down for Yes Day. I'm Christopher Zweig, stay safe and I'll see you at the movies! For more amazing content, please like and subscribe to my channels. You can also read my reviews at cjatthemovies.com and listen to my podcast reviews at newhdradio.com.